Okay, this is my um, iPod dock, and, well, I've hardly used it for a... Well, I can't remember the last time I used it, but... I'm going to use this for the as the amplifier for my um, computer, because... On my computer... Alright. On my computer with a feedbacking microphone... Well, I haven't got any sound out of it, because I'm using the HDMI connection, and it doesn't carry the sound, so... Everything I do on that computer is now silent, so I'm going to circuit bend this so it powers external speakers, and there's one little problem. I've lost the power supply for it. So here are the parts I'm going to use to make a new power supply. So I'm going to um, do that now. Okay, here it is. Now a couple of hours later, and I have made a power supply, so... I'm just going to plug it in now and test it. Apparently the voltage coming off this is too high. It's over 20 volts. It shouldn't be, but... Okay, that's not good. This power supply is giving way more volts than I want it to. I was getting... As you can probably see there, I'm getting 22 volts out of this thing. And I only want 15. Right, let's see what voltage I've got out of it now, because I've soldered it onto one of the other taps on the transformer. Okay, it says 11.2 volts on the meter. Well, it should be enough for the uh, thing anyway. Okay, I don't have a connector to connect this up to the circuit board on this, so what I've done is removed the original socket here. I'm just simply hardwired it in. I'm now going to connect the power. I'm not sure if it'll do anything at all with the um, um, well, with the top cover taken off and various boards disconnected, but uh, let's see if it does anything. Okay, well, um, definitely showing some signs of life. Right, I'll just take, put the top bit back on and uh, see if it's still working. I'm having to record this bit again because the camera wasn't recording. So, doing this bit again, it is put back together. It is still flashing. Let's see if the iPod works. Okay, the iPod is in. Now I'll turn the power on. Well, the iPod has lit up. And now I'll just try to get it to play. Never know how to work these things. Right. The iPod is playing. But I'm not hearing anything out of the speakers. So. Okay, I'm going to try the transformer on the other tap, and if it blows this, I don't care because it's not a piece of vintage audio, so I don't care if I mess it up. Okay, I've now connected it up to the other tap on the transformer. Let's see if it works any better this time. Okay, the display is not flashing, so that's a good sign. It is lit with a constant brightness. And that's working too, I can make it different brightnesses. Okay, what voltage is going into this? Just test it over at the thing here. For some reason I'm only reading 9 volts here. I don't know why. Choke is now bypassed. You see with this wire there, shorten it out. That is working. Okay, I'll just test the voltage that it's giving out. Okay, that's pumping about 21 volts into this now. Oh, I'm watching Mythbusters, by the way. Lego, apparently made out of five million pieces. Roll it down the hill, Indiana Jones style. It stays completely intact, gains speed, hits a car. I love Mythbusters, one of my favorite shows. Anyway, let's see if this is working. 
this Indiana Jones Lego <laughs> 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 Okay, let's um, stop that before we get into any copyright issues here. Yep, that's working. Now I can suck it, bend it for um, stuff. Here it is, all in pieces. Um, see the top and bottom half of the shell there and the front bit? There's the two speaker drivers. Tiny little two inch things, maybe not even that. Um, this is a uh, the other part of the speaker, the case of the speaker. Um, and on the other side of this circuit board, there's the um, clock display and the L LCD. It actually has a couple of LEDs either side. There's two LEDs there, and just lift this bit of tape up. There's two LEDs there. thought this might be fluorescently lit, but it's lit by four white LEDs. Now, this is a bit crazy, look. They put this electric shock warning on it. I seriously don't know how you would be able to get an electric shock from the voltages inside that. That's just crazy, isn't it? Okay, it's now put more or less back together. Still got to put the top back on and connect these two bits up, but I've now got it wired to a pair of external speakers. You may remember these from one of my previous videos. And they're connected to the speaker connection here. In the power supply, I have also um, put in a different choke because the impedance of the other one was too high and it wasn't letting enough current through so it was causing the voltage to drop when it was connected to this I'm not sure why the voltage drop was so high because this barely takes any power at all anyway it should all work and should all work well so now I'm going to connect this bit back up and um, close it back up and um, let's see what we get well I've got it all back together now and it's working just to prove the sound is coming out of these two speakers here Take the microphone, which I'm using. Here it is on top of my computer which is running and I've got it connected up to the aux in as you can probably see there now I'm having a little bump, trouble adjusting the clock on this there's a button right at the back it says clock adjust but if I press it I don't seem to be able to do anything. It doesn't. The display doesn't change into any kind of clock setting mode, so I don't know how to do it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong there, but it is working. Got YouTube on here right now. Play a video. All right, uh, AM operation. AM is pretty good. That's pretty I'll good. Just turn it up a bit. Okay, not so loud. 